pictures. I'm out here with my buddy Lowell and his uh, PA-14. So, yeah, you get a chance to check out the PA-14 and the PA-12. So he's got the PA-14 here. You can see it's got a larger hatch and a little bit more deck room. And I got my PA-12 over right here. These are both 360s. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. And this is uh, Lowell's first time here. He's, he's also got yeah. a YouTube channel too. So yeah, make sure you go check out Gone Fishing on YouTube. And uh, so Lowell, what do you what do you expect for today? Uh, you're gonna show me how to catch a white bass. All right. Hopefully catch a first, my first white bass. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna go for white bass, crappies, walleyes, smallmouth, whatever bites today pretty much. So yep. yeah, it's exactly. gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, let me uh, give you a... Get skunk. <laughs> right. Yeah, hopefully we won't get skunk today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard that the white bass are doing really good, so we'll see. Here's a quick view of uh, the P814 right here. This is how he has his rigged up. Very cool. Then we got mine. And yeah, now that seeing it fully rigged, you can see the the difference in size compared to the 12 and the 14. I remember when I first picked it up and it really didn't really see it. But now it's uh, side to side, fully rigged, and actually looks a lot bigger. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, he's gonna go park his uh, truck and let's go catch some fish, guys. We'll see you on the water. All right, guys, I am on the water now. Just waiting for my buddy to get here. And then uh, we're gonna head out. I heard that the white bass and the crappies are doing really good right now in this area. So, yeah, this is the St. Croix River. And we're going to go try a look. We're going to be using, well, I'm going to be using uh, spinner, spinner baits and uh, high tech uh, swim, swim baits. And, and hopefully we get something for you guys. The wind is actually not too bad. Uh, when I checked, it's only supposed to get only to about 7 miles an hour. So... Yeah, way better than last time I was here. Last time I was here, I was supposed to get up to 20 miles an hour and it was getting kind of fishy. So, yeah, so yeah, it should be a lot better today. And uh, we'll go from there, guys. So, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed and like this video. And we'll see you on the water. Let's go fishing, guys. No fish hitting. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to go now. <laughs> oh, it's a big, big river. Yeah, it is a big river. Uh huh. Oh, okay.
<laughs> Got our first fish. Little perch. <laughs> well, we got our first fish under the pilings. Got a little perch. <laughs> what is it? A perch. Oh, perch. Yeah. And a big fish broke me off. Wow. Not sure what kind of fish that was. Let's retie while fishing in. Alright, guy just retied. And did my first cast already. Wish I would have got that fish in. That, that fish felt big. It's the nicest one for the day. See if he could do it again. That was probably a walleye. Because it broke my line. Probably broke the line in its teeth. Is that a bite? Oh, not sure what that was. A small guy. Let's let this one go. Yeah, I switch over to a drop shot with a hook and minnow. Seems to be doing the trick. All right, guys. One of the reasons why I'm, I'm focusing on these pillars now. It's been a really tough day today. We fished by the dam. Uh, fished some uh, sunburned vegetations and fishing was really tough. And this river, it's very flat bottom. So, so you want to look for any kind of structure. The river flow is actually, I'm not even sure which, which way it's going, but it should be going towards those, towards in front of me. But with these, uh, with these freeway pilings, it should create some kind of structure for the fish so that's why i'm focusing on these structures and so far it's been proving to be pretty successful I mean, we lost that one we had we caught that perch and that small walleye so so far this has been the most successful spot so far and one thing you want to do is uh, you want to have all the tools with you I mean, you see me switch from spinner baits to crank baits to now drop shotting, and that's that's what it seems to be working right now. Uh, we also trolled and casted, and now drop shotting. So you always have to be ready to change up your your style of fishing. Don't be just stuck on one style of fishing, especially if you want to catch fish. So this is a great way to do it. Always have all your arsenal ready. You never know. Fishing is different all the time. It's one one day might work the best casting, and the next day it's probably gonna be all drop shotting. I mean, you never know. So yeah, just keep an open mind and just keep on fishing, and just make sure you have all the necessary tools to fish. 
even when you're drop shot and you're you, you're using different techniques like this one right now i'm just casting a little bit ahead of me and then just slowly reeling in letting the wind take my kayak around and just kind of positioning my kayak so it's in front of me so i have i'm uh, i'm in a more comfortable position and i'm just bouncing it off the bottom and just uh, every once in a while just reel up recast again and start all over again another popular technique is uh just very pretty much vertical jigging right underneath your kayak or your boat and just uh, jig it up and down and sometimes uh, that might be successful too so i mean you never know the reason for the drop shot is because it's keeping your bait off the bottom and right now i have it off about right about a foot and a, maybe a few inches so yeah these are just some techniques that you can use especially when it's slow day like today always be open-minded and use other techniques as well so yeah hopefully we'll catch some more some more fish for you guys and make it more exciting all right got a small mouth Hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. There he goes. Smallmouth. Beautiful fish. Let's go catch another one, guys. Alright, got another fish in. Ooh, another perch. Yeah, now we got lunch. Alright, that's another good eater. Oh, got another bite. There he goes. What have we got here? Oh, walleye. Undersized walleye. Pretty little walleye. We're gonna let it go. Let's go catch another one. That's a bite. Yep, got him. Got him. Smaller perch and it's almost swallowed it. Let this one go. This one's a little, little smaller.
hopefully you guys like this episode and uh, make sure you go check out my buddy uh, Gone Fishing's uh, uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, yeah. no video today. No. <laughs> yeah, it was a rough day today, but yeah. I mean, we we managed to catch something for you guys. So, but it uh, it's all about the experience and the yep. journey. So and having fun. yeah, and having fun. So yeah, I'm glad uh, uh, Loa came out with me and uh, experienced uh, the St. Croix River for the first time. So yep. yeah, this is only my second time. So we're still learning the system, but but anyways, yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, like this episode, go check out Gone Fishing and uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll catch you on the water. Let's go fishing. See ya.